हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर डी एंड रिलेशन बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ई डाइलेक्ट्रिक पोलराइजेशन पी एंड इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर डी लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर डी In the concept of polarization, we know when a dielectric is placed in between the parallel plate capacitor, रिजर्व प्लस क्यू माइनस क्यू एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अप्लाइड देर फोर पोलराइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस हियर वन एंड नेगेटिव चार्ज डेवलप्ड अनदर एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज इंड्यूस्ड देर फोर इन साइड दिस अनदर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जेनेटेड दैट इज ईपी एंड सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ दैट ऑफ प्लेट इज नोन एज सिग्मा एफ ड्यू टू द फ्री चार्ज and surface charge density of that of dielectric due to the bound charge that is sigma of p here we take sigma phi that is surface charge density surface charge density ऑफ फ्री चार्ज ऑन कैपेसिटर प्लेट्स हियर द चार्जेस आर फ्री एंड सिग्मा पी इज द सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ड्यू टू द बाउंड चार्ज In case of dielectric slab, this is the surface charge density. Surface charge density of bound charge that bound charge is produced due to the process of polarization. Okay, now the magnitude of uh, electric field between the plates of charged capacitor without dielectric. Then the magnitude of electric field. between the plates of charged capacitor when there will be no such dielectric without dielectric without dielectric it is e not is equal to here surface charge density due to free charge that is sigma free divided by epsilon not permittivity of that of medium that is permittivity of free space again the magnitude of electric field intensity between the charge capacitor when the dielectric slab is present again 
द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इनसाइड द डाइलेक्ट्रिक ड्यू टू इंड्यूस चार्जेस ड्यू टू द फिनोम ऑफ पोलराइजेशन चार्ज आर इंड्यूस्ड सो ड्यू टू इंड्यूस चार्जेस देर विल बी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू इंड्यूस्ड चार्जेस That is, E P is equal to sigma P divided by epsilon naught. Now, the net electric field within that of dielectric. Therefore, the net electric field, the net electric field within the dielectric. is e is equal to e not minus e p e not is the external electric field e p is the electric field produced within that of dielectric so the net electric field inside that of dielectric that electric field direction is opposite to this electric field direction so e not minus e p is the net electric field within that of dielectric Or E not is equal to E plus E P. Or E not is equal to E plus in place of E P we substitute sigma P by epsilon naught. Sigma P divided by epsilon naught. As we know, sigma P. is equal to polarization vector p in the concept of polarization we found out that particular equation or e not is equal to e plus p divided by epsilon not taking the lcm and epsilon is multiplied here so that equation written as epsilon not into e not is equal to epsilon not e plus p in place of e not we write epsilon not into in place of e not that is sigma free divided by epsilon not So sigma three divided by epsilon naught is equal to epsilon naught e plus p. Epsilon naught epsilon naught cancel out. So we have sigma three is equal to epsilon naught e plus p. Here we introduce the term as Let sigma free is equal to d. Therefore, d is equal to epsilon naught e plus p. That particular quantity epsilon naught e plus p is of special significance, and uh, that is known as. Electric displacement vector that is known as electric displacement vector as d vector is equal to epsilon not E vector that is electric field intensity plus P vector polarization. Now 
that is the relation between this one is the relation between d vector displacement vector e vector electric field intensity and polarization vector p now we can find out various types of relations as relation between d and e relation between displacement ve vector electric displacement vector d and electric field intensity e how to get that relation since this is for free charge since displacement vector d is equal to sigma free that is charge per area q by a or d is written as we just multiply epsilon not k and divide epsilon not k so q divided by epsilon not k into a just multiply and divide that one look here q divided by epsilon not k a that is the expression for electric field intensity therefore d is equal to epsilon not k into e that is the magnitude of electric field intensity when that due to that point charge and the medium b there will be a medium having dilatic constant k again epsilon not into k d is equal to that is the permittivity of the medium epsilon into e or in vector notation d vector is equal to epsilon e vector epsilon is the permittivity of that medium and the relation between d and e again uh, relation between e and p relation between e vector and p vector electric field intensity and polarization vector how to calculate look at here in that particular equation e not is equal to e plus p by epsilon not so here we know e not is equal to e plus p by epsilon not taking the lcm and multiply epsilon not to that side so epsilon not e not is equal to epsilon not e plus p or epsilon not in place of e not I, we can substitute look here dilated constant k is equal to e not by e therefore e not is equal to k times of e that is substituted here so k e is equal to epsilon not e plus p or p is equal to epsilon not k e minus epsilon not into e here epsilon not taking as common we have k minus 1 into e k minus 1 into e that is the relation between e and p or in vector form p vector is equal to epsilon not k minus 1 into e vector with the relation between k and e look here again we can take that expression in another way if uh, there will be no dielectric is present if no dielectric if no dielectric therefore k will be 1 and the polarization vector p will be 0 that is the correct expression in the absence of dielectric there will be no polarization that the basic way to define 
that polarization is equal to epsilon naught j e e j e that is the success probability as we discussed in previous videos so in place of p we substitute that quantity epsilon naught j e e therefore therefore j e is equal to k minus 1 or k is equal to 1 plus j e that relation also derived in the concept of electric susceptibility where j e is the electric susceptibility such a pitability so instead of one k minus 1 we can substitute j e so p is equal to epsilon not j e these are the relations in between e p and d so with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of electric displacement vector d the electric displacement vector d which is the relation between d e and p various various types of relations relation between d and e relation between e and p in terms of electrical susceptibility also relation between dielectric constant and electric susceptibility that is the relation between dielectric constant and electric susceptibility so with this useful and information notes let me wind up this session thank you